Thanks for joining us for another Kickstarter conniption. Today we're previewing the game Deadly Desserts. As always, we want to make you aware that our Kickstarter conniption videos are sponsored in part by our Kickstarter backers and by the creators of this game. Thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows, and today we're looking at Deadly Desserts from designer Alec Ledeau. This is a 2-10 to 10 player trick-taking card game that takes about 30 minutes to play. We were able to get a hold of a prototype copy of the game, so let's take a look at how it's played. The setup for the game will vary wildly depending on your player count, so you'll want to reference the rules for setup. But generally, you'll be shuffling a specific stack of cards together and dealing a hand to each player. Each player will be given 500 points in health tokens, and the player to have most recently eaten dessert will go first. In typical trick-taking fashion, players will play one card from their hand each trick, and the player with the highest card that matches the lead suit or craving will take the played cards into their stack. The player to take the trick will lead off the next trick, and play will continue in this manner until all players have played all their cards. In the game, there are three cravings, meat, veggie, and drinks, and then there are the deadly desserts. These devilish delights reduce your health by the number shown. In deadly desserts, the goal for the game is actually not to take tricks, though, because at the end of each hand, players will reduce their score by the number of health points shown in the corner of the card. So this player would lose 60 health points at the end of the round. If a player is able to pull a sugar rush and claim all the deadly desserts for the hand, though, they get to dish out the damage that they should take to all the other players. The game is played over the course of three hands of cards, or until one player loses all of their health. Then players tally their remaining tokens, and the player with the most health wins. Deadly Desserts is a trick-taking, maybe it's a not trick-taking card game. In this game, you're trying to avoid losing health, so everyone starts with the same amount of health at the beginning of the game, and then in standard trick-taking style, like if you were playing hearts or spades or even euchre, uh, you're gonna be playing tricks of cards, except in this case, you pretty much don't want to win them because you definitely don't want to be stuck with those negative deadly dessert cards at the end of the round. Yeah, the cards are one through 15 in the deck, so you'll remove some of those for your lower player counts. And then there's also a second deck that if you play seven to 10 players, you'll add in some of that sec second deck so that you have enough cards for everyone. The game is pretty standard in that way. It follows this normal trick taking game, except for in this case, you do have the deadly dessert cards uh, and really they're superfood cards in general. Most of them will cause you to lose health. There are a couple, like maybe the asparagus, that will actually gain you health at the end of the round if you're able to get it. And then there are a couple cards like the Seltzer, which can be played kind of both ways. If you don't win any other superfoods, it gives you health. If you do win other superfood cards in your deck, then it doubles the damage. There's also the Hangry Pig in the deck that will give you negative 100. So you have to be careful, especially to avoid some of those cards. So usually the strategy will be to try and get rid of your cards, especially maybe one or two of those suits so that you can um, play off suit like a normal trick taking game to get rid of cards that you don't want. There are a lot of different variant rules in the game as well that kind of borrow from some of those games. You can play a team game, two versus two. Uh, there are also different rules you can add in like being able to get rid of two of your cards and give those to the player next to you and take the other person's cards in hopes that you're able to get rid of a suit or bad cards or whatever might be your goal. There is also uh, in the game those deadly desserts that are negative points. So there's a few different variants on how you play the ending scoring and one of those is having the sugar rush in the game. The sugar rush will come up a lot more at the lower player counts, the higher player counts. It's really difficult to win all of the deadly desserts, um, all of the tricks that contain a deadly dessert. Um, but at the lower player counts, it happens quite often. And so 
Um, if you end up with all of the desserts, you actually give all of those negative points to all the other players. Yeah, so that's a, a standard rule. And then there's another variant too. There are these gourmet cards that are actually double-sided. And it's yeah. interesting because you can see them coming through in the deck uh, so you'll know like that guy has a gourmet card in his hand and you can either play it for its regular value or you can double it if you think you're going to be able to get rid of it because people can see it they kind of know when it's coming you're not allowed to play it when the first time that that suit color is played so if that uh, if you know if everybody if the red is being played and you have a double-sided card you can't play it the first time second time up you can though and so it kind of gives everybody else information and it gives you the opportunity to make it really really bad for whoever gets stuck with that hand yeah this game has some fun quirky art to it all the cards kind of have a food themed pun and so all the cards are unique which is something fun in the game yep we've had a good time with it if it sounds like something you would enjoy then check it out on kickstarter now and then as as always, thanks so much for following along, liking, and subscribing to Tantrum House. It's a lot like hearts or spades or what's the game I actually really like called? Euchre. Euchre. Uh, we were able to get a hand, a hand, a hold. We were able to get a hold, a hand to hold. <laughs> Final take. Gourmayhem cards, because it's gourmet and it's mayhem.